Hey there, official world. Fat Cat Newton coming at you. As you can see, today we're out on the water on this beautiful piece of body of water called the Pamunkey River, which is an actual tributary to the Chesapeake Ocean. I've been fishing this place probably since 87. Uh, caught a lot. I mean, a lot of of different types of fish. I don't even know what some of them are called. I think I may have discovered a few species, um, but uh, we're not going to get into that right now. So today we're going to talk about catching spawning bass. <clears throat> I told you before in one of the videos, we're going to talk about the jig rig. Well, I'm going to show you the jig rig today. Um, some people have gotten confused with the jig rig made by Dirty Bird Lures. Not the same thing. I spell my jig rig with an F. And uh, so this is what I've got today. This right here is the jig rig that has won so many pros so much money. I, I, I developed this probably around 87, 88. And uh, what this does, it imitates a school of crawfish. Many people don't realize, but crawfish, they gather and they roam in schools of up to 1,000, 2,000 at a time. It, it, it's amazing. I've got a lot of it on video, but it, I just can't get the video to upload. So what this is, this is my jig rig. I take and put these trailers. These trailers, I know what you guys are thinking. I mean, you pretty much consider your mind blown. Seeing that right there, that's that's super freak, right? That right there's a dirty bird freak, and it is raw, son. So what I do is I put that on there for a trailer, and I like to use about about a 10 aught trailer hook. You know what I mean for them jigs on this bad boy here. So uh, what I do is I like to put this on about that's about 17 ounces of, of weight right there, and I like to put it on about six pound test. I know you're thinking, wow, 17 ounces, six pound. You gotta finesse these things. So I'm gonna show you how to catch a spawning bass. This this knot has won me. I couldn't tell you how much money. I mean, it's just incredible how much money this knot has won me. With this bait, I mean, a lot of the victories on tour right now are won, are made. Or what you know what I'm trying to say. I ain't gotta spell it out. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. I like I told you, it's not going to do me any good more. I've already reached the level. I can't go any higher, so I'm going to pass this secret on to y'all. So what I do, if I can get a straight piece of knot, that's great that wind's picking up right now. I, I love it, you know. One thing good about the weatherman, you know, he's always right on it. And he's kind of like a, a fisherman, you know, always tells the truth. That's why whenever I'm trying to get directions from somebody or something, the first thing I do is I ask them if they're a fisherman. Because if they're a fisherman, I know I'm going to get a straight answer. Because fishermen don't lie. You know what I mean? I, I've never lied a day in my life. All right, so look. It's simple. You just come through there just like that. And you're going to take that line. And you're going to go through there. Through that hole one time. And you bring it on down. And always remember to lube your knot. Because if you don't, she's going to break. I'm telling you. So... <laughs> Just like that, you lube it good, and just for good measure, run it through there one more time. Oh, I wish that wind would pick up more. You know what I mean? Five mile an hour wind means about 87 mile an hour on the water, and I just love it. It just makes for great fishing, great audio when I'm doing a video. It's it's great. There we go. Boom. Newton knot done. Just like that. Ain't nothing to it. Just between us though. Don't let nobody know. Go bite her off. All right. Boom. All right. So now we get the jig rig ready to rock and roll. Oh uh, well. Sometimes I like to pull it. I pull it. I didn't look like I was pulling hard, but I was probably about 74 pounds of pressure right there. And she broke. Just like this. All right, we're going to go in. Like that. And we're going to come up top. I'm going to drop her one more time. Come on! Always remember to keep your cool out here. You know, I mean, certain things are going to test your emotions, but hey, you got to keep your composure. And don't lose cool. Uh, here we go. And boom goes the dynamite. We got it, baby. We are good to go. All right. That trail, get that 10 alt trailer hook off that six pound test. Now you guys know what the jig rig is. I'm gonna show you how we catch his buck bass. That buck bass is focused on that nest. He's not gonna go nowhere. Not gonna do nothing. He's not gonna do anything. Unless you really make him mad. I could throw a cinder block over there and stick a dynamite. I can come off this boat. But ooh, with the cannonball. He ain't going to go anywhere. You know how you get that buck bass mad? Just like in the woods when the buck's going to rut. Look at that. Boom goes a dynamite. This right here was a buck I killed uh, probably right around back in 87. I killed it 117 yards with a slingshot. It was 30 inches at about 14 points. I count the points right now, but we ain't got time. 
So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to get this thing riled up in order to hit this jig rig. You want to get up to the side of the boat, you want to take this rack, you want to lean on over. Oh, hopefully we don't capsize. And you want to get down in there and... Oh yeah, he's getting wound up now. He's surfing. He's surfing. Alright, let's go time. Alright, now remember. Gotta be nice and subtle with the presentation. Gotta get this over here. Now, some of the guys you see, some of the pros, they use the pedestals. They sit on them. See, I'm all gut, no butt, because, you know, I ain't got a butt because I done fished it off. <laughs> oh, man. So, I don't use this for my butt. I use it for my gut. I'll get down nice and low, and I'll put my belly up on it like that. And I like to get close. Remember, subtle presentation. And I'll take it. He's circling too. Oh, come on, baby. All right, here we go. He's ready. Come on. Oh. Like I say, you just want to take that rod tip. Be nice and gentle with that rod tip. Make sure you got your drag right. You don't want to just like that. Oh, yeah, you want to nice and Oh, he's in the bed now. He's swirling. There he goes. Oh. Oh, he's running. He's running. Ah. Here it goes. Oh. Oh, he's running. He's running. Ah. Giant. It's a giant. Giant. Ride tip down. Ride tip down. He's, God, he's going back to the front. Giant. It's a giant. Giant. Rod tip down, rod tip down. He's, God, he's going back to the front. Oh, oh, God, no! Son of a gun! And every bit of 12 pounds. God, dog it! God, dog it! Listen, guys, when you're out here, you gotta keep your composure. Take a break. So, uh, hopefully, we get to that bass next time. I gotta take a nap. Uh, Fat Cat Newton, catch me on Facebook over here. Fat Cat Newton Facebook. Catch me on YouTube. Fat Cat Newton. And, uh, yeah. Toodles. See you next time. After you throw a $300 setup in the river because you, uh, you lost one, this is what you got to do to get it, I guess. <coughs> it should be right over there. It's only 17 foot water right here. So I should be able to reach over and get it because I got pretty long arms. Dude, it is so deep. That is so deep. This is not going to work. Oh, this is horrible. I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm gone. See some... I'm gone. No, I'm serious. I'm gone. Am I going to get some help? Got it. Uh, I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm gone. See you some I'm gone. No, I'm serious. I'm gone. Am I gonna get some help? I don't have any idea where it's at. And boom goes the dynamite, baby! Woo! Now, I'm gonna show y'all why they call me Fat Cat. Because I'm agile, like a panther. Ain't nothing to it. 
Ain't nothing to it. I can say nothing to it. Just like that. Ain't nothing to it. Alright. This is working out well. This is I got it. Don't help me though. <coughs> no, just seriously, don't help. I got it. It's nothing to it. Like a panther. Fat Cat Newton. <laughs>